14 with the ball. 14. He's going to shoot. 14 goes in. Drills it. From down. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So, all right, yo, look. Tell everybody where you from and your name, you feel me? I'm Nasir Haas, man. Six foot, shoot guard, point guard, anything. I'm from Chen, New Jersey, man. I play for the Haas. All right, I know you've been asked this question like a million times already, you feel me? But, like, what are your goals at the high school? Man, growing up, man, my goal is just to have, like, a signing day, you feel me? So when I sign off to college, I'm my family there. But, you feel me, starting so late. And it's like trying to focus and get ready for college. Like 10th grade at a small school. I mean, ain't got a lot of looks for colleges. I mean, I got a few. You feel me? But I really want to try to go Division two at Felicia or Bloomfield College. So whatever works, you feel me, it happens. But I know God got a plan for me. So, Boom, so what made you transfer to Trent High your senior year? Well, I started, man. We was at Moody Park, me and my boy Jesse, and a couple of my boys. And he like, yo, come to this AAU tryout. I'm like, nah, but I I eventually ended up going there, and I linked with most of the Trent High players because we ended up playing on the a same AAU team. And they seemed like, you feel me, they, they like how I played, so they persuaded me to go there. But at first, I was so comfortable at foundation, you feel me, I'm killing. But I, I always wanted to play more competition, man, be respected for real. Like, I want to score points on people who work hard just as me. So I ended up going there. Uh, Elijah, you know who he is, man. He persuaded me, sent me paragraphs, like, bro, come in the high, and I finally did it. So. All right, so what would you say was your favorite game of the season? I mean, one would say my favorite game was my 31-point game. But, like, bro, my favorite game would be playing St. Mary's. I think they was, like, 14th ranked, 13th ranked in the state. But it was really my first time really playing people who was, like, ranked and got notoriety. And you feel me? I, I did a little bit. I showed out a little bit, and it showed me that I could really compete with these guys if I just had the confidence to do so. I still battle with confidence issues to this day, but I realize when I'm really confident in my game, I can do anything. So, yeah, that's my favorite game this season. All right, so tell me about your teammates. Man, we battle every day in practice, man. Bryce, Kenny, you feel me? Then me and Jose, Jesse, Lil Red, Eli. I could talk all day, man, but. I've really seen like a lot of a lot of a lot in this man this season, bro. I seen dudes come up from never getting varsity minutes to make it hit one of the most clutch shots in our season, you feel me? But man, it's like when we on the court together, like sometimes me and Jesse got a connection, you feel me? When he see me when somebody won't, or me and Jose look for each other because we both the shooters. Or you feel me, you get a ball to Jordan, it's basically a bucket. So Ethan, man, when he got confidence, he could just get a bucket. You feel me? So then you got Mike down there, strong. Kenny got caught. It's like, man, my teammates, bro. I just get a process on them, bro, because they gave me one of the best seasons ever, man. So. First couple years, I already knew it was a rivalry, you feel me? Like, they usually have a game, a regular season game every year. You feel me? Get the people what they want. It's usually a packed game, too. But this year, we ain't had no regular season game between us for some reason. I don't, I don't really know. But everybody knew we were going to see each other in the uh, Mercy County tournament. We was the first seed, he was the second seed. So when we played it, man, we my team, we just had confidence, man. We feel like we was gonna win the game no matter who they had, D1 players or not, man. We treat every team the same, so we came out strong. They ended up winning, but man, I feel like we got respect from a lot of people because in the papers they had us predicted to lose by 21. We really lost by five. I mean, we should have won that game, but it was a good game though, man. Oh, uh, what's good, y'all? Y'all wanna say something to Nas? Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, my boy. Hey, Steve. Hey, Stone, man. Keep it. Hey, Steve. 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 Hey, Steve.
happy birthday. You my brother. I love you. Um, you came back from Wolfpack. Wolfpack to turn hard. We, uh, we stay together. That chemistry got crazy. It's a light bomb bond. I love you, bro. Happy birthday. Power. <laughs> Nas, this is your mother, and I just want to say happy birthday, son, and I'm so very proud of you, of everything that you have accomplished, and this is just the beginning. The sky is the limit. I love you. All right, Coach Wall. So, how was it, Coach Nas, this season? Yeah, I'm gonna take it back to um when he tried out for my AU team at Wolfpack. Um, when he started playing, going through the tryout, my son and I looked at each other and we were like, "Yeah, we gotta pick him up." And it went, it, it went from there. Real good kid, um, just a nice young man. Like I, I told him that these guys are gonna make great fathers and great husbands. Uh, very caring, so brotherly. Um, every, every, I mean, I think that uh, his wife should be very, very proud of him. His father should be very proud of him. Also, when he played at the high school, I mean, everything, he just went off. You know, uh, a dynamic player, team player, um, smart on the court, basketball IQ through the roof. A pleasure to coach. Nice, happy birthday. I love you, and I appreciate the experience, and I thank your parents for allowing me to coach. All right, so tell us about life growing up in Trent, New Jersey. Trent already got a bad reputation, man. But growing up, you do meet a lot of good people, man, a lot of good friends, man. Like, despite all the stuff I've been through, man, living in a bad neighborhood, man, hearing gunshots every night, bro, it just, it sparks something in me, like, make me want to get out of here. Make me want to be successful, you feel me? But, man, this city, man, it's what you make of it. I mean, people take the wrong path, but there's a lot of people who have taken the right path in the city. So, man, and in the city, man, it's not a lot of successful people. So, the youth, man, like the old heads don't really look at the youth as promising, you feel me? Like, growing up, I ain't had nobody, like, I had a lot of good coaches, I'm not going to lie, but I ain't have, like, somebody to really train me or to make me become a better person or player in general because I mean, they think, oh, you can train, man, they ain't really got no talent, they don't really got stuff like that. So, if we just got better mentors in the city, man, it'd be much better. All right, the game against Howe High School, yeah. double OT. Y'all up by one, seven seconds left. Young boy charging the court. What was going through your head? Man, I'm like, they better stop that boy, man. He was killing us, though, but when, when you got Bryce on the court, man, you can't jog to the paint without looking. So Bryce stepped up to that big charge, man, and he got that win. Tell me about Coach Daryl. Oh man, bro, when I when I be seeing him coach, like before I even went to Chair High, I found this. I'm like, dude, crazy. Like he making them run every two minutes. Like, but I finally got to meet him over the summer. You feel me? Like how everybody was hyping me up before I came there. All, all my players and stuff hyped me up. When he met me, he was like, "Yo, you short and skinny." Like you feel me? Like he never seen you play before, but. Man, that summer league game, man, we went to Jersey City. I think he seen something in me, man. He was like, man, make sure you transfer. Like, man, he a good coach, man. He get the most out of us. Like, he don't, he don't let you settle for nothing. Like, that's one thing. And if you show him something, he going to let you run with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all about first impressions. And I would try to make a good one on him, and it's stuck. You feel me? He believed in me, even though I was new. Man, I ain't end up starting. But I played good minutes from the beginning, so... Man, he a good coach, man. I wish the best for him and the next generation of Trent High, man. So. Well, coming from foundation last year, I seen him grow. He worked extremely harder, and I seen him, like, be hungry for his spot because you got to think about it. This is his first year, so he had to earn his spot. Everybody else was there for, like, not long. And he came in, he was able to start, and he was able to put up numbers, and everybody knew his name within the first year. Um... I just seen him work extremely hard, and I became like very proud of him because I seen that he was hungry. I already knew he was hungry, but he really showed it this season. 
feel me? Kyle, he come to all the games, you feel me? Like, the one y'all went to, St. Mary's, you feel me? He went out, drove out there, paid 15 hours to get in. People like him, you feel me? He's one I really, I know, but it's a lot more just like him. But there's a lot of fans that just come there, like, don't even clap, you feel me? This day. I don't know if they dare to see themselves or not, but, like, even versus in the Howl game, you feel me? We down by one. Dude on the line shooting two free throws. I see people walk out, bro. They walked out on it. You feel me? Like 10 seconds later, they walked out on it. But we got the win. They was, but they was all like, when, when we down, we got to lift each other up. Like, in school, my own supposed, I'm going to call my, my own associate. Like, man, y'all going to get blown out by TCA. Y'all going to lose this. Y'all going to lose that. You feel me? I'm like, bro, like, you don't support your own town. Like, people like that, man, I don't know if y'all really, like, support the city like y'all supposed to, man. That's why so much stuff going on like it is. But the true fans know who they are, man. Shout out to them. Uh, so tell me about assistant coach Walk. Oh, man. He he like skill coach, you feel me? Some practices, we working our handling, our dribbling, man. But he give us confidence, bro. Like, it was a couple games where I missed three threes in a row. And he be like, nah, shoot the, shoot the damn ball. Like, you feel me? Even after that, like, he always believed in everybody, man. Like, shout out to him, man. I feel like he made me a better player playing with him in AAU, too. Like, for me, he just gave me confidence, like, to believe in myself, too, man. So, shout out to Coach Wall and Coach Brooks, man. He, he like, our hype, man. He get us hype for the games, man. So, shout out, shout out to them, man. He won't be like, oh, he a shooter. That's my other team. Think. But on the court, man, even if I'm not a scorer, I affect the game, like, you feel me? Like when we once you start playing teams and got the state time, teams watch Finn like, oh, he a shooter, so they so focused on me. Other dudes getting over knocking down shots. So it's just like, man, when I'm on the court, just my vibe, bro. I, I try to help other players when they down, you feel me? But my like my attributes, man, I'm a shooter. I ain't gonna lie, I like to shoot. But I also can put the ball on the floor and get to the basket. You feel me? Despite my size, you feel me, I'm skinny. I can really get to the basket and finish around the rim sometimes. And I'm a, uh, I'm kind of a good passer sometimes, though. But when I'm looking at somebody, I can get them. All right, Neff, you want me rookie year in the NBA? Got that million dollar contract. What you going to buy? Man, I'm putting my family on, bruh. You feel me? Now you buying stuff. I'm just making sure we all good, bruh. You feel me? Because I know they've been there when I was down bad. Like, I mean, my dad been not, my dad or my mom had games where I was just a bum. You feel me? And they just supported me and stuff like that. Even if basketball don't work out for everybody, because it don't. You feel me? I'm going to support my family, man. I just want to be good enough in life, man, to, to get my get back to my family and the people who support me. Uh, what do you hope that the game of basketball would give back to you? Man, like, I don't know, man. It, just, it don't even got to give me nothing back. Just happiness, bro. Playing it just make me happy, bro. Like, competing. That's why I want to play at a high level when I go to college. I just want to compete, man. This makes me feel good, bro. Uh, last night game versus Freehold. Y'all lost by one. Like, what was going through your head? That buzzer sounded, man. I seen them celebrating. I see my guys crying, man. I was holding back chairs. I didn't want to see people see up, see me cry, you feel me? But I just see the work we put in, man. We put in so much work. We want 32 minutes almost every practice. Like, I know no team work harder than us, man. It just, we let that game slip away from us. We was so close. And we had hopes of ending that 60 year chip, uh, group for a job, man. But it was cut short. But I get props the whole, uh, Revo. They played good, though. But we still should have came away with that win. But, my guys, man, I hope they keep the same passion, man. Take us to college with them. Take that fire to college, man. And we all become good players. But it hurt, though. It hurt a lot. You feel me? But I'm just glad I was in the predicament like that. Because if I was that foundation, I wouldn't even be in the States. You feel me? Got the chance to win something. Like, it just felt good to be a part of that, even though we lost. But, man, I love my guys, man. I wish the best for all of them. When did you fall in love with the game of basketball? Man, I mean, well, I've been playing basketball, like, loving it since I was, like, a little kid, man. My mom been taking me to the park. I was too weak to shoot a regular ball. She had to give me a little ball, you feel me, ever since then. But I never really took it serious, like, focus, like, yo, I got to make it to college or I got to make it somewhere with this until, like, the 10th grade when I realized, like, it's 
people way better than me out here, and I love this game. So that like that they didn't even feel right. People better than me in the game. I love. So I started putting a lot of work, man. Started making a name for myself. Day, bro, and you the best shooter I seen. So okay, you know, all right, keep grinding. Man, what's good? Nah, bro, you know, we had support you, bro. Happy birthday, bro. Get it, man. Hi, Nasir, you're my favorite nephew in the whole wide world. I love you. Uncle Lock, what's up? Birthday, Nas. Birthday, Nas. Love out here. You awesome. You did a good job on your game. Congratulations. Keep your head up. Don't worry about them haters out there. Stay focused. You need me, you give out Michelle a call. I'm right there. Cash at. Love you. Happy birthday. He's a good kid, man. Uh, he grew up real fast, you know. He passed me in basketball, so, you know. Um, I'm just proud of him, man. He's smart. He accomplished a lot of things. He's going to school, so I'm just proud of him, man. I'm looking for the best for him in the future. Yeah, I just want to say, man, I'm proud of my boy Nas, man. I always knew he had the potential in him to do what he's doing now. Like, we come from Foundation Academy, and Nas was the best player on the team. And I told him, you got to go. He left, started doing his thing. And he was a good teammate. Uh, when he first came into the program, I was uh, I was new to him. I really didn't know him. But I heard that he came from Foundation, that, and I knew that he was a good shooter. You know, so when the season started, I saw his, his game, and he was good. We became good uh, friends, and now we're close. And that's my brother right there. And I'm gonna miss him. He had a good season, and that's it. Right. Well, happy birthday! Actually, this was late, but happy birthday, little cousin! I love you. Stay strong, work hard, and stay at it. Remember what I told you. Hey Nas, keep doing what you're doing. Happy birthday, cuz. Happy birthday, Nas. You're doing good out here. He's past, uh, he's past year and a half. He's been super fun, bro. Uh, getting to know you, playing ball with you, you know you're tough. <laughs> but uh, I just wish you the best, man. Anything in the future, whatever the future holds, man. I'm always here for you. Hey, Nas, I just want to tell you that I love you and I'm so proud of you. And I wish you nothing but the best. Good luck. This is your godmother, which is also your aunt. I want to wish you a happy, happy, happy 18th birthday. Love you. Happy birthday, nephew. And we're very proud of your 18th year, 18th birthday, rather. And then we're proud of your success with your basketball. You keep going. Don't let nothing hold you back. You don't let no negative negativity get in your way, okay? Your family's proud of you. We love you. And we hope you have a very, very happy birthday. And this is from your Abba. Peace.